Hey guys, welcome to the first Lightburn tutorial for the Emblazer 2. Um, today I'm going to be walking you through a couple steps to help you get your first project going and um, make a finished part. So to get to the tutorial that I'm going to be using as an outline today, go over to the Help Center on the Darkly Labs website, Tutorials. And we're going to be going over lesson one, which is the spirograph. Now, today we're going to go over how to load a design into Lightburn, position it in the workspace, and then select a preset from the pre-made library of material settings. And then we're going to go cut out the design on the laser. Now, before you begin, make sure that you've completed the getting started section on the user manual. There's a link right here and then download the spirograph design file. I've already downloaded the file, it only takes a second. And make sure that you have a piece of three millimeter plywood measuring at least 110 by 110 millimeters. So for the first step, I'm just gonna hop on over to Lightburn and cover a couple things on the interface. Now you might notice a couple differences between my Lightburn and the Lightburn that is in the uh, tutorial document, and that's because I'm working on Windows. The document was made on Mac. They work exactly the same. They're just their interface is subtly different. And one of the things is the library is on a tab right here instead of below here in the laser versus library. Now, one of the things I like to do right away is click the library tab and pull the window down from the top here, and you notice it detaches. It could be a standalone window or it can go in the middle here. I like having it in the middle because uh, I usually work on multiple monitors. So let's go back over to the cuts tab and then I'm going to go ahead and import my geometry in. Now notice I said import and not open. Um, open opens a light burn project file and that is what we can Fin we can create today when this is all finished. It has your work all positioned in it, has all of your cut and power settings set, um, and all of that stuff. Uh, what we are going to do is import a geometry file. So click on the LB01 Spirograph SVG. And notice that it imports into the center. That doesn't always happen. Uh, so I wanna make sure you guys know how to position your work. Um, so I'm going to click here and also notice that it highlights the entire file all at once. That's because Lightburn auto groups all of its geometry uh, to make it easier to position. You can quickly ungroup it if you need to by clicking this little guy here. I'm going to leave this grouped for today. So I can drag the uh, file around the workspace or I can fine position it with the arrows up at the top. And notice it doesn't take effect until I either change the box that I'm working in or hit an enter key. And then I can also manually input if the arrows aren't working quite like I want them to. And then the last thing that we can do is we can use the arrange um, functions here to put it in the top corners or the bottom corners or the center of the workspace. Or if you're connected to your laser and you have your laser positioned exactly on your workspace where you want to work from, you can actually move your geometry to the laser's position, which is very cool. Um, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and assign our power values based on our material library over here. Now, my power values came in automatically, so I'm going to change them to something wildly wrong, just so you can see the... Uh, numbers update when we utilize the library. So click on plywood because that's what we're going to be using today and three millimeter and we're going to cut this out so we want to click on cut and assign to layer. Now when I click to assign to layer notice the three and 100 changed from 50 and 100 and now my speed set to 3.3 millimeters per second with a power max value of 100%. Um, and that's what we want to use for uh, cutting plywood. All of these settings are preset from us and they are locked because we know they work. Um, if you need to change something or you want to add a new material, you can totally do that and we'll cover that in future tutorials. But today, let's just work from the library. 
So from here, we're ready to head on out to the laser. So let's go do that. All right. So the first thing you want to do is place your material in the center of your laser. This is where we're going to be cutting. Then we're going to go ahead and close the lid and press the enable switch on the right side of the laser. This lets it know everything's good to go. And then from there, I'm going to show you a sped up clip of the laser actually cutting because that's why we're here. To get the laser to start cutting, all we have to do is go back in the light burn and open up the laser tab and hit start. From there, the laser will start cutting and soon you'll have your spire graph just like in the video. Now when you're done, jog your head out of the way, open up your laser, and check out your new spire graph. Go show all your friends your awesome new project, but make sure you come back and check out the next tutorials. There's tons to learn still. Thanks everyone for watching and have an awesome day.